Super Robot Wars is an interesting case when comparing the typical stat systems you see in just about any RPG with it. Not only do your units have stats, but the pilots themselves also have stats that act as a modifier of sorts. In this video, I'll be breaking down both unit and pilot stats. I won't be going too far into the exact formulas, as the only one I've actually been able to verify as accurate is damage, which will be a whole nother video in and of itself. As for evasion, hit rate, etc. If you know the exact formulas from the source code, go ahead and drop a comment or join our community discord. We have channels dedicated to Super Robot Wars related discussion. Research for this video was done in Super Robot Wars 30, which should be accurate to at least the international era of games. Mileage may vary for games before Super Robot Wars V. Without further ado, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. So let's start out with unit stats, as they're the most straightforward. HP is a unit's health, the more it has, the more damage it can take. EN is a unit's energy resource. Most attacks use this resource. The stronger the attack, the more energy it uses in most cases. Moving while in the air or space will consume one energy per space moved. Barrier abilities and power parts consume a bit of energy to activate. HP and energy are independent stats, and not modified by any of the pilot's stats. Next up is armor. This reduces the amount of damage the unit takes from attacks. Mobility increases the unit's chance to evade attacks. Sight increases the unit's chance to hit with attacks. Weapons increases the base damage done by the unit's attacks. All unit stats can be increased through upgrades up to a cap and through various power parts. Unit stats are essentially the base stats for a unit, with pilot stats acting as a modifier for them. I will go over the parts of the damage formula that are relevant to the stat, so let's go over pilot stats. CQB, or Close Quarters Battle, is a damage modifier stat for attacks indicated by the fist icon in the weapon description. RNG, or Range, like CQB, is a damage modifier stat before attacks indicated by the crosshair icon. The formula for CQB and RNG is Weapon Power times Morale plus the damage stat. DEF, or Defense, is a stat that acts as a modifier for the unit's armor. The formula for Defense is Armor times Morale plus the Defense stat. EVD, or Evade, is a stat that acts as a modifier for the unit's evasion. As of the time of writing, I'm unsure about the exact formula for evasion and hit rates. ACC, or Accuracy, is a stat that acts as a modifier for the unit's hit chance. Again, unsure of the exact formula. I saved SKL, or Skill, for last because I learned something new when doing research for this stat. Now, I never used to invest in this one since I figured it was only for activating certain skills, like Second Attack or Defiance. However, in addition to being used for those skills, it also increases your unit's chance to crit. Not only that, it even decreases the enemy's chance to crit, down to 1%, which is the minimum crit chance. Here's a quick side-by-side -side with maxed out skill versus non-max skill. While cool, with the EXE action smash hit, it kinda doesn't matter too much, and you definitely don't need 999 skill to get 100% crit chance against most things anyway. So that's unit and pilot stats explained. Like I stated earlier, I'll make a separate video detailing the damage formula. If I find out evasion and hit rate formulas before then though, I'll probably put them in the same video, since that'll cover the combat formulas for the most part. In any case, it's been a while since my last video. I've been doing a lot of back-end infrastructure stuff. Office renovation, new equipment, home networking upgrade. My computer drives are starting to get full from all these videos too, so I set up a network attached storage server to archive all of my footage and completed videos. It's running TrueNAS scale on a system I cobbled together from old computer hardware for anyone familiar with storage-focused operating systems. Might make a video on that stuff soon too. I'm pretty much done with all that now though, so I can get back to making videos regularly. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.